Hey y'all, it's Spiders, and today I have a story for you guys that involves school, Call of Duty, and cheerleading. Yeah. And before we get into the story, yes, I am wearing a cheerleading bow. This is my old cheerleading bow from when I was actually a cheerleader back in 20... 12, maybe? I don't remember exactly what year, but I thought I would break it out because it seemed suitable to the story, so... Yay, I look like a cheerleader today. <laughs> Too bad the bow's so big, it doesn't stay in frame. There we go. <laughs> this thing's freaking huge, oh my god! So the preface to the story may be a bit confusing for you all. School? Call of Duty? Beating somebody in 1v1? You were a cheerleader? What the heck, Butters? So allow me to elaborate on this quirky story. To start off the story, it was the year 2010. I was a sophomore in high school and I was a part of the cheerleading team. I was a part of the JV varsity football sideline cheerleading squad. That's a mouthful, my gosh. But I cheered for the JV football team and if we have school the day of a game, we have to wear our cheerleading uniforms to school to kind of show our spirit and celebrate game day. So I got dressed in my cheerleading uniform and went to school and if I can find an old picture of me in my cheerleading uniform, I guess I'll put a picture, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so old. So old. Anyways, I got dressed in my cheerleading uniform and was ready to show off my spirit in honor of game day, and I remembered that it was actually a half day at school because of finals. Super quick explanation for finals at my school, you only had to go to school for half of the day because the class periods were extended two and a half hours longer than usual to actually take the final exam. So yeah, we had a very short day and it was great. Now at my school, when we have half days or we have extended lunch periods, people actually bring in their consoles and people will bring in their Xboxes or their Playstations, whatever they want. They'll bring in Guitar Hero, FIFA, but most importantly, Call of Duty. Students would roll in TVs and their consoles and they would hook up the latest Call of Duty of that year and that year was actually Black Ops, right? 2010? Black Ops? Yes, it was Black Ops. So I showed up to school at about 8 o'clock that morning and our school starts at 8.30 so I had time to sit around and observe everybody as they were setting up their game stations to play Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, whatever they were gonna play. I saw four Call of Duty stations getting set up and I was so excited but also very disappointed because I did not have a lunch period that day so I couldn't stay and play for two and a half hours which was really upsetting. However, there was this one guy who already had his Call of Duty set up and he was already beating people at the Call of Duties and the 1v1s and stuff and he was sitting there all high and mighty like so, uh, does anybody else want to play Call of Duty? I mean, come on, come on, I'll go easy on you. It's okay, it's okay. And I mean, people knew I played Call of Duty, but when I was a sophomore in high school, I was really shy about it. I don't know why, so I was just kind of sitting there like, oh, I want to play, but I'm in my cheerleading uniform. That's just, this isn't, it doesn't seem right if I do play. I just, I can't do it. However, my girlfriend grabbed my arm and pulled me over and said, you gotta do this. You have to do, play. Play the Call of Duty. I know you're good at it. And I thought, well, I mean, class doesn't start for another 20, 30 minutes. Maybe I can wipe out this dude in five minutes maximum. Maybe I'll give it a go, why not? And by the way, I was very confident in my abilities with Call of Duty back in the day because all I really did was 1v1, so I figured, you know, I can do this. I can I can take him out super quick, 20-0, boom, and I'll go to class and I'll do that, why not? I'm not as good as I used to be, I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely a little bit more cocky back in the day. And then I thought of a genius idea. I thought it would be funny to pretend that I didn't know anything about Call of Duty. I wanted to pretend that I was the basic cheerleader who all she cared about was, you know, cheerleading and sports and didn't play video games at all. I figured it would just be, it'd be funny to me. <laughs> so I went up to the guy and raised my hand and said, Hi, I don't really know how to play this, but like, can you show me how? I think it'd be kind of fun. And this guy was a nerd, and how do I say a white knight, I suppose. Um, he puffed up his chest and said, all right, I'll teach you how to play. Uh, here's your controller, and uh, don't worry, I'll go easy on you. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh man, he's really confident, and I feel really bad that I'm about to stomp him into the ground. Should I go easy on him? No, no, let's, let's stomp him into the ground. I don't want to sound like a butt munch, but you know, it was my first time being able to show people that I play Call of Duty and you know, he was being too overconfident, you know, being like the big boss man, like, yo, nobody can beat me. So of course I had to come in and show him a thing or two. So I'm not overly cocky, I swear. <laughs> so he handed me the controller and I'm sitting there trying to hold it like this. I'm just like, um, is it the left one that makes you move and the right one you aim with? Is that how it works? I, uh, how do you shoot? Um, at this point, we didn't have much of an audience. The only people who were in the background observing were really my friends because they knew that I played Call of Duty. They knew exactly what I was doing and they were, <laughs> they were kind of giggling to themselves a little bit. 
But they weren't gonna rat me out. Nope, they wanted to see my plan go into effect. They wanted to see me stomp this kid. So we got in a split screen multiplayer. He asked me, do you want to set up a class or do you want me to do it for you? And I said, I'll just use whatever class you're using. It's fine. I mean, I don't really, I don't know how to set up classes. So, you know, you do you. He said, okay, um, we're going to use sniper rifles. Is that okay? What you're going to, what we're doing is quick scoping. So what you're going to do is aim in with the left trigger and then just kind of pop with the right trigger. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, really? Like I, if I don't know anything about Call of Duty, you want to do 1v1 quick scopes immediately like that just proves that you just want to use me for target practice i'm gonna stomp you so much harder now but of course you know i had to say um sure i'll try it i mean it looks kind of hard but i mean i'll try i guess this boy was just overly confident to the point where i was just like oh my god start the match already so i can just kick your ass i remember the map we played and everything we played the original nuketown and we had the gold l96a1s and <laughs> I remember like when the match started he was like okay do you want like a second to learn how to move around and I'm just sitting there like um or right, I think I got it okay let's go let's go and I assumed gaming mode posture and everything kind of leaning over like this and staring straight at the TV and I went in I quick scoped him immediately and he spawned back in he goes what and I just kind of giggled and was like hee hee lucky shot okay I'm sorry were you ready I'm sorry I'm not gonna lie I was a bit of a butt munch to this kid but he kind of needed a uh, reality check you know he was overly confident thinking he could beat everybody in the room so I had to come in and teach him a lesson <laughs> I'm not actually this kind of person I swear I'm not overly confident you know sorta I can beat anybody in the world no I'm definitely not as good as I used to be even back then I couldn't but I'm just saying this guy needed a reality check I don't usually act like that okay so he looked at me and asked, have you played this game before? And I said, I mean, I've played it kind of a couple of times with my guy friends, but I'm not really that good, to be honest. And the best way that I can describe the rest of this 1v1 is absolutely brutal murder towards the other guy. I feel kind of bad. He would take five steps out of the spawn and I would kill him and I would get him in a spawn trap. And he was sitting there clickety clacketing all the way trying to trying to maneuver his way out of the spawn trap but no i wasn't having it i had practiced it enough to uh to where i kept him relatively nicely in the spawn trap and i ended up gathering an audience of people who were just like is that cheerleader beating that guy at call of duty now i was in the zone so i didn't get to see who all was talking but apparently i gathered quite the audience so that my friends say uh, even I heard one guy, oh my god, this is so freaking cringy. It's high school is so cringy, oh my god. But one dude behind me said, she's like the perfect girl. And god, I wanted to turn around so bad and see who it was. So I could be like, what the hell are you talking about? I ain't no perfect girl. But I, I was too in the zone to actually look and see who said that. Uh, I appreciate the kind compliment, but I was in the zone. I was trying to 20-0 somebody, so I didn't really care that much. Anyways, the 1v1 continued, and I was beating this guy so bad. I, I actually feel kind of bad now thinking about it. I believe I was 19-0 against him. He's sitting there sweating like crazy. He's just like, oh my god. Like It must have been such a terrible day for him. I, I feel so bad now. Oh my god, what was I doing? I'm so mean. I'm so mean. I didn't mean to be mean, but oh my, I'm thinking about it now. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm good. I'm good. I, I feel I'm very apologetic as you guys probably know. I feel really bad <laughs> But this dude was sweating trying to get at least one kill on me It was 19 to 0 and I decided let's end this with a bang That was really stupid, but I figured I would end the 1v1 with a 360 and I could have ended the 1v1 so much quicker, but as you guys know, I'm not much of a trick shotter, and I was jumping off the uh, the ladder outside the windows on Nuketown, so I'm not very good at, especially back in the day, like I wasn't very good at 360 or anything like that, but I was like, I want to go out with a bang, like he's not going to kill me, I highly doubt it, you know. It took me about two minutes to finally land the 360. I am a terrible, terrible trick shotter. This is why I don't trick shot. I'm not good. I ended up landing the 360, I beat him 20 to 0, final kill cam 360 and all that. And the audience blew up and was like, Oh my gosh, she just did that to you! I can't believe, oh my gosh, she's so good! Oh my god! And I was looking at the clock and I saw that it was 8.25 and class started in 5 minutes. I don't know where the time went, but apparently it took me a while, I don't even know if it took me 2 minutes to land 360, but time just flew by. And I immediately was just like, dude, GG, I gotta, I gotta go to class, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I gave him a casual handshake and said, GG, I gotta go to class, and he was just looking at me while shaking my hand, just going, G, 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 good, good game, man. That was, uh, G, G, G. <laughs> 
Now that I think about it, I feel awful for what I did to him. He was a senior, and he was kind of, he was on his high horse, you know. He was well-respected in the Call of Duty community that was in my school, so... I, st I still feel bad, okay? <laughs> Why did I do that? I should have just been like, yo, let's play COD. I play COD, but no, I had to be like, um, how do you play Call of Duty? I don't really know how. Can you show me? Like, Why did I do that? Why? I don't understand. I could have just beaten him a bit on my, my merry way. I'm really sorry. Dude, if you're watching this, you're probably not. You have no idea who I am. If you're watching this, I'm very, very sorry that I did that to you. <laughs> After the 1v1 was finished, I had to actually go to class, and I looked behind me at the audience, and there was a whole bunch of people just, like, crowded around like a big old cloud of just nerds who were just like, look at her go, she's walking away. I'm just kind of like, I'm sitting there with my backpack like, I gotta go to class, bye, okay, bye, have a good time. <laughs> And then I went to class and I sat down and I had one minute to spare and my teacher asked me, because he was cool, he was like 25 or something, he asked me, he said, you okay there Hannah, you're in a rush, huh? Because I was the last person in the room and I said, yes sir, I just played Call of Duty in the cafeteria. <laughs> and since he was the baseball coach and wasn't very well oriented with video games, he just kind of looked at me and was like, okay, because cheerleader sports, you know, he wasn't expecting that side from me, I suppose, so. Yeah, by the way, in that class, my final exam, I got an A. I remember that. But that is the story of how I 20 owed a guy in my cheerleading uniform at school. <laughs> why am I laughing? I don't even know why I'm laughing. The guy who I beat was a senior, and if I knew his name and knew who he was, I would probably formally apologize to him because I feel really bad. But at the same time, like, I don't think he ever had that same confidence ever again when it came to Call of Duty. The next, the next midterm that came up, or the next final day that came up, like, he had set up his Call of Duty station, he sat there, he's like, oh, it's you again. You want to play? I want to get good. I'm like, yeah, dude, let's play. And, like, I ended up beating him, like, 20 to 5, but, like, you know, the first go around, man, I was just such a butt munch. I don't know why I did that, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> Can y'all do me a favor and count how many times I said I'm sorry in this video? <laughs> But anyways, that concludes the story. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to hear any more stories about my cheerleading past or high school stories in general, good lord knows I have a whole bunch of stories. But if you want to hear any more stories, feel free to leave a like on this video and maybe a comment. Be like, yo, tell more of these stories. And I will. Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye